Hey, what is going on guys? It is Gov Gaming and today I'm just going to start a new um Minecraft 1.2.5 hack client tutorials for um your client, your private client or public client, whatever you want to do with your client. Your client, the boss. All right. So, um if you like the tutorials, um please give it a like and if you want me to do a, another hack client tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. So, let's get right into it. Now, I'm going to have these two packages in the description below. Of course, with not clickable GUI, because this is my like my own code, whatever you call it. But I'm going to have GUI hacks, GUI in, and main.java all f just for you, for you guys to use. Alright? So, once you import it, um, basically just copy it, drag it in here, or just make your packages and whatever, make your classes and import it. You should be able to do that. If you don't have to do that, then don't watch my tutorials because you're just plain horrible at coding if you can't do that. Don't leave comments below asking me for how to do that. You should be able to do that yourself. Alrighty. So, enough said. Let's go right into it. So, we have these two packages installed. Uh, you should have it installed right now. Now, let's just open up the, all these uh, classes. Just look at them. Alright, so we have all three of these classes um, opened. G GUI in, main.java, and GUI hacks. So, I'm going to explain this right now. GUI in is where you're going to put all your draw recs, all of your font renderers, anything that you want to put on the screen when you're playing Minecraft. This is used to, um, be, yeah, exactly. It's just used to show anything you want to show on the screen without actually importing it into uh, GUI in game. It makes it a lot easier to um, actually do. But before I get any further into this, make sure you go into net.micraft.src, scroll down until you find entity renderer should be in um, order from A to Z. Uh, where is it? Entity renderer. Right here. So we're going to scroll down a bit, um, actually a lot, uh, until we find something uh, like this. So scroll down until you find uh, mc.endgame menu render game, overlay, whatever you call it. So, we're going to put this line of code right here. This is so that it actually pops up on the screen. Without this, it won't be able to pop up on the screen. So, put gyn dot draw gy parentheses, I mean, not parentheses, uh, yeah, there should be parentheses, mc dot font renderer, make sure the r is capitalized, comma, mc, and then a uh, semicolon after it. So this will put all of the stuff inside GUI in, like all the draw recs in, in between these two parentheses, into uh, the GUI in game. So make sure that to highlight over it if you have an error over it and just import the package. Because it is a different package from a different thing. Anyhow, 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 anyhow. All right. So in GUI in, we have this draw rect right here. Now in between these two parentheses right here, this one right here, and this one right here, we're gonna put all of our front renderers and everything else. All right. So in GUI hacks, we're going to have uh, some interesting things that you guys probably never used before. So um, please stay in. Please stay active and into this tutorial today, because you might not get it if you don't watch the first tutorial. Anyhow, so we have this class right here. Press Enter, public, and we're gonna make we're gonna make your usual public static boolean, right? You know, menu. I'm gonna call it menu just for fun. You guys know how to do this. Uh, public static booleans are basically used for if statements. Um, to enable something like hacks or just enable like a menu or whatever you want it to do. S but something you might have never used before is public static uh, a static string. Um, you guys probably never used this before, but if you have, congrats, you're pretty smart. So in public static string, right, we have this public static string and we're gonna call it as name and then we're gonna make it equals and then my client name will be named uh, your craft. Oh my gosh, I hate my computer when it does that. It just skips lines, whatever it wants to do. All right, so we have public slash string name equals your craft. Now you can change this to whatever you want it to be, and then you can change this to whatever you want it to, to be. 
for me and my client name, I'm going to call it name to be able to call it. And then my client name will be your you craft, your craft. There you go. Now, another thing you probably never used before is a public static int. Uh, public static ints are used uh, for ints like for color codes, etc. So, what you're going to do is I'm going to call it as uh, I'm going to use it for a color code for the text. So, text P. And I'm going to make it equal um, the color code 0xFFFFF. 0xFFFFF yeah. is uh, white. If you didn't know that, just white. So, I, so yeah. So, uh, I'm going to put another public static int. Oops. Public static int. I'm going to put text secondary, which is S, and then put it 0xFFFF0000. That color code is used um, for red, so anything that's enabled, I'm used for red. That's just me, but you can change whatever color code you want it to be for your primary and secondary. Alright, and um, I'm, I'm going to use another public static um, int for my uh, rect. So public static int rect p, which is going to equal 0x5500000, right? And my public static int for my rect, uh, for my rect, rect s, which is my secondary color. I'm gonna use here x f f so zero so zero so zero. All right, so we've gone over all of this stuff right here, right? We have uh, text p, text s, rect primary, rect secondary, you know all that strings. And we gone over all of that, but how to make it so we can call it in game? So we're gonna go back into GUI in right, where our draw and in, are and everything, and we're gonna make a new font renderer since it is we're calling it, so because right now we're going to call this right here post like string. So we can put font renderer that draw string right, and usually you put like the parentheses, you know, two comma two comma zero x. F -f 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 -f, right? You know, you put that, whatever, the parentheses, you put whatever you want, call it your craft. Don't do that. That's going to be a waste of time. Don't do that. Get rid of it. Alright? Get rid of the parentheses. So put two more parentheses in there, right? Whatever you call it. And this can put GY hacks. Dot. Ooh, there's some beat in the background. Oh my god, that's so cool. So we're going to go with GUI hacks, right? G U I hacks dot and we'll call it my name name joy hacks dot name see how I have name right here to get now name right here I call it name right here get it so we have name and it's gonna equal your craft so any the string right here will get it'll, so it will equal not your craft so the string right here we'll just have your craft instead of that so yeah so we'll put it again joy hacks dot name all right, so that's how you call it. Now my um, my color code for uh, strings, my primary one is GUI hacks dot uh, dot text p, and the text primary color code is just right here. See, it's an int right here, so that's what I use for ints. Anything that has like you know a little number or something that's not in parentheses, that's what I use for ints. Now we have this draw rect right here, right? So I want it to be the rect, rect uh, primary color. So gy hacks dot rect p, right? So we're gonna put rect p right there. Gy hacks dot rect p, and it's gonna use the rect p int right here, and it's gonna put it right there. Don't worry, links will be in the description to the fully uh, customized thing, so you guys can use it to your liking and change whatever you want to it. All right, so um, now to make sure this works, we're gonna uh, run it whatever alrighty so now as you can see we have the string your craft in the top left corner right and remember that is from the gy hacks dot name that's what it is right there and then the draw rect color in the background you can see it I hope you can has a little box and everything you know what I mean so uh, that's what it does. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you liked it. And again, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And uh, another tutorial will be coming your way. Uh, bye. I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah. Uh, bye.